Welcome to the grand finals of the 2v2 Metaplace Amateur League for Halo Wars 2. $140 are on the line in this one. This one series will decide, oh, it's a best of seven. Spawning in the dark blue, this is Psylac, and he's accompanied by his buddy Dark Angel in the teal color. Together, they are Psy Angel, and they are playing Desi and Serena. And over here on the red side, we have Best of BC going Johnson, Reckless Bankai going Colony, red team Best of Bankai. Once again, going on Fishers for this map we have. As usual, each of the teams gets one mini base, then another in the back. Double mini should be all about barracks and just smashing your spam of units together. We'll see what exactly that is gonna be. But should be just snipers, hellbringers, mix of those. Um, cryo troopers, of course. <laughs> yeah, Serena. three pads available in the mini, double minis. Or four pads available. Three of them are raid camps, are barracks. Fourth one is now gonna be a barracks as well. Yep. Nothing too shocking about that. Psylac gonna get ready with a hero. He was Decimus, as a reminder. And then, in the back mini, we got just the pad. Rakus Bankai more on the chopper side of things, not heroes. Makes sense, given that he's Colony and he's got Skitterers, so he can just get these Skit Choppers going. That's a tough one for the Halbingers to go up against, actually. Not sure if I like that placement on the on the bunker. That could be more yeah, offensive. I was about to say the same thing. I was about to say that too. Because, you know, it's, it's definitely nice to stop the power node from getting captured, but... Many bases where the fight is. Ah, Skit Chopper already goes down. Kind of got to be careful with that thing. Skirting around the edges often is better. And the second Chopper shatters. Rest in pepperonis. Here's the... Desi Warlord, this combination of Serena and Decimus has been working out pretty well for this team. And I think they might be sticking with it. Yeah, there's a big stop on that, uh, exp that double mini, double mini doves get saved and there are a lot of blue units here. Mm -hmm. and we have that garrison you talked about before, but that's gonna easily just get taken out now. Um, Flamer or not, just put the Warlord alone on it, it'll take it out without losing any damage. Yeah, it can also stun the entire thing for a mm -hmm. long time, and there's plenty of Cryo Troopers here, it should be fine. Oh, another one. Interesting. But it, oh my god, the Sniper got picked off before it even got into the other garrisons, so these garrisons are not providing any value right now. It's a rough game just, one. Yeah. Some stalling tactics. There are some flamers on uh, Dark Blue's main, Silex's main, but there's only a couple. Snipers are coming back to kill them. One goes down, another one's about to go down, third one's gonna go down shortly there after that. Yeah, we're There's looking a at a combined human. population of like 80 versus 60. Uh, Team Blue definitely with a huge lead right now. Mm -hmm. I'm sure they'll be pressing that. Hammer pull coming through. Warlord's even better than before. It's trying to go chopper skit, but there's not a whole lot of skits. There's only one chopper skit. The rest are just regular choppers. With marine grenade, those are easy oh pickings. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that hurts. Bunker's gonna stay alive for the moment, but then there's grunt mines as well, which are also amazing against choppers. Another bunker. These guys really know how to buy time, but what is happening behind this? That's costly though. This is not like you have he, he's sitting at a double mini, but 
you what is that 350 every time mm -hmm. 350 blue so you got to think he put in over a thousand blue and just having these bunkers here yeah still losing already. the units like the blue army is only growing right Psylocke now on 40 pop Dark Angel on 42 that's 80 and uh, best of BC on 36 directors on 25 yeah that's tough big difference Reckless Bonkai does have the amount of power to go to Tech 2, and he's going to click it now. Red is also going to do that. You see? Snipers are starring up. Two one star snipers. First Expo is going to be attempted to be grabbed by Yellow down at the bottom. Red also at the bottom of their side as well. So, going to have two Expos near each other. Tier 2 coming through for Best of Bankai. Oh, sorry. Best of BC. I and keep Reckless saying Best Bankai. of Bankai sometimes, too. That's their team name, not their players. It's so difficult to keep in mind. But we have a Goliath drop. That's looking like something. Reset Micro is also happening, so fantastic to see that. Doing it just as well as the pros. Yeah, uh, might get countered a little bit by the beam, but we also have a beautiful split. The ice slows it down so much. Oh my god. Let's <laughs> say, as long as you kill one, you can probably stop it with just this turret, because they're going to get frozen. Don't know if they'll save the gen, though, but it'll at least stop the push. Yeah, definitely not the gen. Tur is actually taking a beating. Uh, oh. Yeah, there's an engineer here though. Yeah, and a sniper. He's running, or trying to. But why are you running? Yeah, that ain't gonna work. <laughs> sniper maybe getting another star? Not like this. Anyway, we've got a big counter-attack. Extractor is already frozen. Raid camp is frozen. Turrets are getting upgraded, but... Uh, yeah. The space is still in trouble. All the choppers are toast. Blue team's about to get bound with Siphon, too. Oh! That, they lose a lot of grunts before they get the heal. No, they right still got it. Right before they get the heal. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot. Of, there was several that got killed by it. But yeah, they got the heal now. Yep. They gotta get something more out of this push, though, because yellow and red have uh, established expos now. Mm. Stunning that generator, definitely a good start. Um, a lot of damage coming through on it as well. The grunts have their mines ready to go. I definitely think they can kill the one extractor. And if the hero runs away, though, you need a vortex to finish this one off. There is an engineer here too. Ah, uh, for sure then. Yeah, they're gonna keep it alive. Psylocke almost ready to click up to tier 3 if he really wants to. Uh, but instead he's gonna get an upgraded base. That's good. That's probably the right choice. Uh, Dark Angel also firmly in tier 2. Getting his garages going. He kept his expo alive, so that's fantastic. That's also pretty well equipped now. Because Bankai has not yet upgraded this middle base. Best of PC, however, has upgraded his extra expo vehicle upgrade one coming in. And there's two other garages pumping Mantis, so this is not too bad. Good unit count. Yeah, this hero is going to have hammer stun now, this warlord. So it's going to be easily be able to pick off units one at a time. And it just got a veterancy. Yeah, that should be enough as well to take on the Hunter Captain, even. Just gonna go in and click it. Infantry upgrade 1 coming through for Psylac. And 45 base upgrade. I thought he likes Banshees in this case. 
Which would be actually really good against the Mantis. Yeah, I'm only seeing one production for the... Um, Banshees on the back mini, for whatever reason. Mm. Tried to drop in Goliath to kill that Expo, but... Never gonna work against a turreted Serena base. But behind that is a bunch of Mantis, and... One ice block forced them to turn around. <laughs> Buying some time. On the bridge. Mm -hmm. oh, are we going to see any anti-vehicle upgrades? Looks like no. That hunter captain is in danger, though, on the other side of the map. Why that matters is because there's Kodiaks here within range of the main. Yeah, with so many grunts targeting him down, they have pack, brother. Keeps getting pulled back as well. So I don't think this Hunter Capitano will make it too far. Oof. That's super dead. Oi! They actually took down that base, but that took, at what cost? Look at all those... Wow, Ice Cream Truck even coming in. Yeah, two Cyclops alone were going to be enough to clear out the Mantis, but this... You might as well pull the Cyclops back, save them, let the... Exactly. <laughs> Ice cream truck, just go and finish them off. Could get it done too. That's no problem. Napsilak is gonna drop in Desi. There's a warlord. Desi drop, hitting that red bar, Jen from earlier, killing another turret. Yeah, several other weak buildings that are just one tap away from dying, but the Kodiak will actually do that. No worries. Why is he retreating? Oh, because he's keeping Not the sure. Desi, okay. I don't know why he retreated from this. I don't know either. Well, now need to go back in anyway. Uh, maybe you can save the Desi. Ooh, it's a trap. I see. They have any leader powers though to do any actual damage because this is technically a 2v1. Yep. It might not matter because that is a lot of hunters in the trap. <laughs> yeah. Even gets a slam through. That's a so many dead mantis right now. I think that oh, was yeah. actually worth it in the end. Didn't expect the results, but here we go. Yeah, Reckless Ponca losing his expo on the other side of the map to Serena. Slowly but surely. Mm -hmm. We'll take a moment, but there are two Kodiaks. Eventually it will happen. Ooh. Pelican transport is ready to go. Can Reckless Banka's Expo be saved? Don't see no Pelican called in. This is a goner. Too late to try and save it. There's a turret on this, or a shield on this base now, so you'll be able to take a while to kill it. Yeah, true, the hunters that, aren't particularly yeah. good at that. A Serena ice node in front of Red's base is gonna be hard to move. So many Kodiak or uh, hunters. There's a pelican, but where is it going? Going on the offensive, but it's blind. There is no vision over here where he's headed. Yolo. There's a some units. Question is, where is he gonna go? Oh, right on top. That works out pretty good. good. Good guess. They get buffed, frozen, iced, shattered. Downside of that, he ends up. Getting right into vision. A lot of red bar units. No death. Nothing dead really yet, but that won't last much longer. Can the bison alone do enough? Oh my god. Oh, doesn't need to. <laughs> That's it. 
That one Nightingale just keeping everyone healthy. Colossus never had a chance. Certainly not the Mantis. Okay, now Psylax can check out. Is Red easier to hit? No turrets here. Should go for it. Always easier to destroy a UNSC base. So they're gonna link up. And Dark Angel is also tier 3 now. Can start thinking about those good old vultures. Could also just go tanks, it's no problem. Tanks deal pretty well with the, with the Mantis. Nice drop turret. Wow. <laughs> so much damage here. Although it did get countered mostly by un Unbreakable, but that's a big siphon. Getting flanked by a ice cream truck. Yeah, and all those hunters are just wrecking this Mantis army right now. Two heroes should be able to pull them easily enough. There's a two Star Warlord. As if there hadn't been enough problems for Team Red thus far. This is only gonna get worse. Actually, Decimus might die. Here it is. But fairly certain there's another one coming up. Um, so, like, almost has the resources for it too. Big slam happening in a second, I think. No? Oh. That was a good... Opportunity for it though. Ice cream truck move out freezing best of VC's base. That's gonna be defended though. Yeah, too much firepower for the ice cream truck to handle. Might be able to freeze these guys though. Oh my god! That there was might nice be enough combo. DPS now to just stay alive and fight through this all. Is there a heal maybe? If he has heal, yeah, he's gonna need to have heal, but... Maybe he doesn't actually, with everything frozen like that. <laughs> oh, triple Whoa. kill! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is a hero unit. Not a zero unit. Always remember. It will eventually die, but... <laughs> <laughs> More than worth his value of what he has accomplished here today. Yep. Audio bugging loud. again, Kaboom. Uh, rejoin, please. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's not your phone. Uh, sorry guys, Discord. Uh, we gotta ditch it for our call. Just haven't been able to find a better option yet. We're probably gonna have to use uh, the Twitch option. The guest star thing. We'll see what we can do. A good amount of banshees for a decimus player can definitely hit pretty hard and they've got boundless fury so they're faster do more damage Salax has a good amount of population too but that's a lot of reavers to go up against you don't want to take that kind of fight directly Ultras are joining the fight. Mantis looking for a counter attack. Dark Angels Expo definitely not safe here. That's not its purpose. It's just trying to poke for an advantage. Gotta be careful with those Ultras. 
Am I trying to nuke the hero? Oh, can't right now. You're much better off using these vultures on the other side of the map. Yeah. Against the UNSC. But... Also, once again, I don't fully understand the Banshee play out of a Decimus when you have your teammate going... Vultures, but I guess you take off the shots, you're just sacrificing yourself. Yeah, which, with Bound and Siphon, it's kind of fine. You're gonna eat a Hunter's Brand, though, that hurts! Siphon's a little late for that. The problem is they have no Detect. Yeah. They have absolutely nothing. Now they can't hit the army because of the Shroud. The base itself doesn't have cloaking, that's the one thing. Reckless Banka is still in tier 2, by the way, at 21 minutes. Dude, if those... Yeah, I was gonna say that. Teleport. <laughs> that was important to save the hero. Killing vultures with mantis as well. Shouldn't happen. Yet it is. Here we are. We gonna get to the Colossus stage again? Which is fully upgraded mantis. Ghost chain gun coming in for the Johnny hero. Uh, so Best OBC hasn't been doing too much. What about Reckless Bankai? Also not really doing anything crazy, just making hunters, uh, getting upgrades. Population upgrade being the most important thing to do next. He's maxed out. Okay, Pelican time. Everybody's in there. Uh, another blind pelican. This time is 100% ready. <laughs> Frozen. Beamed. Wait, they're immune. Yeah, he's unbreakable. Yep. yep. There was no freeze at all. And Dark Angel wow. 7 slot phase just got destroyed. That was a huge nuke, yeah, you, however. Yeah, you have to you have to cryo that to freeze them, not nuke them. So you have to outweigh the unbreakable leader power. Didn't he cryo them? I think I heard it. I don't... Maybe I missed it. Because I'm pretty sure immunity protects against that, no? I don't know, but they did take out best of VC's expo as well, so... Oh, hello. <laughs> That's gone now. Yep, so he's off. He doesn't even have a mini, so... Red is on one base. He... And that was a suicidal mission, by the way. Yeah, you, sure, you took down that expo. Big deal. Which it is a big deal. But you lost your whole army and your ability to repop. So, Mr. BC with 58 population. Tons of money. Really hard to repop. Because you don't... Yeah. One of the only leader powers, leaders in the game that doesn't have a drop. Unit drop. So you so, have to pump your units. Yeah, where was... Where was that combat salvage for that one? I don't know. Would have been very nice to <laughs> get Would have been very back. good. There's not much base damage here, but there's also no way of killing this army here for blue. Wow. Yeah, you don't want to fight that. Now yeah. light blue can get can hold this army or this base really easily. And he has vision on the uh, his other base. He's trying to grab between them. And she's now trying to target down that shield generator. It's almost gone. Uh, Warlord can stun lock turrets if he chooses to. There's more than enough here to finish. There's two vultures as well. Yep. And we got nice. Now there's enough damage. Another pelican red is going to try to go and defend yellow this time. But it's going to be a little too late. He's trying to pelican in his hero at his get the heal, but it'll be just after it dies. Yep. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Either way, it wouldn't have been enough. 
Team Cyanjos seems to be taking this game now. They just own too much of the map. Their army is too big. Essentially, uh, against nothing left standing. That's the VC's base gonna be frozen. And then probably vultured. Every building frozen. Bunkai still holding on, but there's no place left to be made against this. Trying so hard to make something happen. The Scarab's coming up, but it's 100 seconds out. Will Team Blue allow this? And even if they do, it doesn't matter with and it's, all uh, those Banshees. That logistics on it, so it'll be quicker than 100 seconds. But the problem is, you're fighting into a Decimus with a... <laughs> Warlord Vet 2. <laughs> this is the worst thing you could want to see other than a Vet 3 uh, if you're a colony or scare player in general. Yeah, both of those heroes can pull them. Even out of a shield, by the way. Uh, actually, no. Uh, not out of a shield, not but of, everything not out else. Of Another miscoding error that they overlooked. Or should I at least say it was not intentional? I actually don't remember what happened, but it but shouldn't have Ransi been done. Said it was a, <laughs> at least according to him, it was a failed coding issue. Who Wasn't said that? intended to Rensi. Right. Either way, it was not intended to pull scarabs. It was just an overlooked thing that they for didn't look into when they were finishing the game. <laughs> and it was too late later. Yeah, you could you could technically disable it, but yeah. Sadly they didn't, and doubt they will now. I think the next chance for Halo Wars patches is at the 10 year anniversary. Even that's ambitious. Yeah, maybe then they'll re release the game so you can buy it again. <laughs> See, now that's a way to freeze it. I completely freeze it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. He does get a heal off of his hero. They're gonna all freeze again. Wow. That's Not that much DPS though freeze. is the problem here. But it's two scarabs actually, not just one. It's better than one. But you're fighting in a base that does not have a shield. Which so means easily scarab pulled. gets pulled. Twice. It's two years. But that is also quad... Oh god. Hunter Brand. Nice Hunter Brand. There's also Ooh. a quad base with base with quad turrets. Yeah, those UNC turrets are actually quite helpful. Uh, Banshees aren't gonna last much longer. But it seems that one of the Scarabs is almost dead, so this is the time to target it down. Decimus's beams actually do a lot of damage to Scarabs. And now the other one. Our base is still not dead on the other side. They're just, the units are frozen to death. <laughs> There's just one Nightingale that's healing the base up. I don't understand why he hasn't upgraded these turrets to anti-vehicle at home, though. <laughs> yeah, probably should. One of them is done, but, you know, the rest is just chilling. Anyways, now the Scarab's oh, dead. Oh, and a beam, 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 oh my god! <laughs> oh, if they no, didn't blow up for the reason, they would have all died. <laughs> it, essentially, the, uh, the, they were all frozen from an ice, and they couldn't move. <laughs> They took some damage to the anti-vehicle turrets, and all of a sudden the beam came in, they were all frozen. They came back from full health to straight dead from the shatter. That's hilarious. <laughs> Game 2, Psylac. Dark Angel, Psy Angel. 
Arby, Pavium. Uh, best of VC, Reckless Bankai, Cutter, Arbiter. By the way, in a long series like this, you have to be a little bit more conscious on what leaders you're picking and when. So you're gonna have to go super deep in your leader power, leader pool. Pavium, not one of the most common ones, but I love Pavium on this map. Absolutely love Pavium on this map. Multiple reasons, but uh, early game, chopper spam, very, very menacing. One way to put it. Doesn't look so. like it's quite a chopper spam yet. Um, see what buildings even are getting made. It's nothing special actually, so far. Even if not, I will say on this map specifically, there's only enough base for one base per person, and all these games has tend to gone pretty late. So if you get one expo, you can mega turret to the other expo, and you can just win <laughs> with mega turrets only. <laughs> And, and I'm not even, and like, that's all you need to do. You could play to that. And you also have a super, with this combo, you have a super late game leader and Arbiter as your partner that can protect you, help you get there. Or, like, if you get there, because Pav's not known for being super strong late game, but he does if you get Mega Turrets into the mix and they happen to work on this map. Yeah, for sure. Like, Mega Turrets and Reavers, and you should be just fine uh, to Turtle. You shield that, you cloak that. And then Arby does the heavy hitting. Vehicle shielding coming in from Psylac. So Team Bankai, they have been actually really solid in this map uh, the whole time. But uh, yeah, Cutter Arby, also a very strong combination for hitting hard. And definitely Pavium uh, could be susceptible to that. It's actually going to be a ghost or a grunt spam instead, but it's going to be a lot of grunts. Don't love the Pav Tech 1 play, though. There's very little value on a map of this size. It's big. It's small in terms of bases, but it's big in terms of walking around. Mm. Yeah, if you can keep the fighting to the middle, then maybe. Um, you know, may maybe a good combo for Rain of Fire with the slowing beam. That could work. Sure, but it's much more effective on tech two, not tech one. Sure. You're right. You're absolutely right. I mean, I'm just craving the mega turret stuff, really. If we oh, get an too. ultra mine explosion, then. For it. Sorry. I'm just hoping for it. Pavian's my second favorite leader by oh, far. Nice. I like well, the stuff that the ultra mines can do. Not saying, but exactly. He's my meme leader. When I play threes and I solo search threes, <laughs> I go uh, Pavium a lot because just try to get the eco rolling and then just do some dumb shit with the the leader Y ability plus Ultra Mind plus Rain of Fire into Mega Turret Spam. Yeah, pair up with the Johnny. You can repair the bunkers. So you have a flying scarab. How cool is that? Yeah. <laughs> Broken. Okay, that's a lot of grunts all of a sudden. Yeah, the grunt the grunt spam is in full force with this Pavium burnout. But Drupal pumping and still has double gen behind it. Oh, the Spartan in the middle of all those ghosts though. It's gonna hard stun it. Uh, the mines are landing in a really unfortunate spot though. Didn't really There's a Pavium here in the middle just gonna get cleaned up. That's why I hate the Pavium here. But there's wow. enough runs to to help out a lot. Oh my god. That was the Pavium mines. might not get away, but... The Pavium can just blast from far away. That's yep. cool. Got the range for it. But there are just so many uh, <laughs> runs. So what are you supposed to do? He's going Tech 2 and Burnout on the base at the same time. Well, he has it. He hasn't used clicked it yet. God, 
I would not. Especially when the leaders you're going against, Cutter is almost entirely ground. Just have to worry about Arbiter's, uh... Whatever it's called, Arbiter's, uh, Phantoms is the only real concern here for Blue Team at the moment. Yeah, the push has been extra strong, so if they can keep this going... <laughs> I love it. I was about to bring it up. So another thing about th that makes this map specifically good for uh, Pavium is the ability to go Wraith Invaders because of your guarantee to fight down the middle. And here they come. <laughs> Incoming Wraith Invaders. Oh yeah, limousine time. Dude, those grunts are still going strong with the mines. This is insane. Mm -hmm. They finally do these guys are getting caught out, so if the limousines don't arrive soon, which they won't, because, like, yeah. Pav will be able to probably die. What I don't like is the fact he's not grabbing the expo behind this. Like, you have plenty of, you had plenty of vehicle for it. Mm-hmm. No, you're absolutely correct. Like, if you're starting to push to the other side of the map, just grab that expo. It will be finished by the time the other team can turn around. Now the grounds are packed, brother, which makes him kind of able to stand against this. It's that Spartan that will do the Mindo. At least they completely cleaned up the ghosts, and Psylac is ahead of the game. He's got his Expo. He's got his uh, third power extractor. He's gonna work on that Arbiter hero. And uh, with his ghost, he can scout towards the back and maybe even have an Enforcer drop. Uh, for the red base, there's only one turret, easy enough to handle, there's two generators there and uh, three supply pads. Shouldn't be a huge issue to take that down, but... Okay, I think Psylax just got his point. There you go, finally grab an expo, Dark Angel is. There's the uh, Enforcer drop onto the base that actually was completed, so this is a big... So I don't know if it's going to be enough. There's ghosts nearby, though. Yeah, the ghosts can kind of ram this, and I think they'll be fine. Yep. The base is pretty damaged. Especially with Rain of Fire bringing some extra hurt. It might actually uh, kill it. Would, yeah, it will. More than enough. <clears throat> Noise. Big pick off there. We're also trying to grab a, a mini pickoff on the other side with some ghosts at the same time. Concern for me is the fact that red or blue does not have turrets on his main, and you got to worry about Goliath drop or not Goliath drop, Fortune drop, and that's what it is. And Odious T drop. Oh. <laughs> Silac, your main, bro, uh -oh. buddy. <laughs> yeah, that hurts. Oh, that there. Why would you? Why not the buildings? Yeah, what? Bonkai, please. Hit the base. Yeah, that other harvester could be at half health now and uh, definitely would die. Yep. Question is, will they kill the... No. Harvester, no. The shield will come up now. Eight seconds out, so he lost two pads for that. Get it, guys, always, always, always build turrets on your base. Even a couple. But also, against these leader comps, your two of the biggest drop units in the games for base killing it are <laughs> your opponents. Enforce a drop, ODST drop. I like the Vortox at individual mini bases. That is actually some beautiful play coming out of Best Absolutely. of BC. Dude, he's hitting every single mini base on the game. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. You don't even see that in Bond's games. Very well done. <laughs> they were able to k deny Yellow's Expo once again. That's Arbiter. That's the one that scales in this matchup. Very important play for sure. Those grunts can hold that ground for a long time, as there's nothing coming out of yellow. Just deny all the minis from being killed by the warthogs, though. Don't, uh, don't. Yeah, well done with that as well. 
Yeah, and this is where it's really good to have the hero in a in a limousine. <laughs> it's gonna provide uh -huh. plenty of DPS with hunters in it as well, and heal the base at the same time. That thing is more than protected. Flash damage as well. Which is also why they're getting turrets first, so... Yeah, Dark Angel doing the right thing. Just get the turrets to be extra safe, and then get the shield laid out. They dropped Enforcer drop on offense as well. Threw a shielded base. Already took the shield down. You have Grunts doing an little extra DPS as well. Will they get... It's a oh, lich. Is a lich. I wonder why we didn't see that. He's also building... What is he building? Reaver. I don't know what the Reaver's for. Uh, no clue. Unless you expected some sort of cloak to attack, but you have, I guess. Wow. Those That's one way to do it. You don't need hunters this. anymore. Oh, I must have been for the for the healing, like um, yeah, to get rid of sense. nightingales and engineers, whatever. That's actually good. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. So he's. Stasis is sitting his base, which completely shuts down his own eco, and now that basically guarantees your units are going to get killed. I don't actually like that idea. That so now, was helping Team Blue. Now, the Lich is still in the air. <laughs> yeah, the Lich is still in the air. Yellow does not have another base. This is it, all Yellow has. Did the by time for the shield again. gen? No. But, like, at what, at what cost? It's a lot. Martin can't steal the Reaver because it jumped aside, but actually it was low, so that's fine. I believe it's going to be... The Lich should be dead... gone soon. But you have one production... or... Yeah, I'm looking around. What's the minis have? It's been going for a while already. Um, now these guys are doing what they can to get rid of those RB units in the back, but... Hey, here comes the Vultures. The vultures should be able to clean up this army now. Oh, hello there. Yeah, it's kind of what best. That is a vet one does. hero as well. Game is not over yet. No, certainly not. Although that this base is pretty damaged. If there's a rain mm -hmm. of fire, this is a good time to use it. That's true, he hasn't used it yet. Yeah, he could pretty much wipe three, four pads with a rain of fire. Got RB coming in as well. He's raging and he can jump pretty high with that. <laughs> Look at that. Vulture microing off the ledge. Very well done. I uh, should have two nukes available. Or more. That is dead. Oh, there's two more nukes coming. He's dead, yeah. Super dead. Unless he can jump into a shield real quick. But no. Nope. You have to teleport for that. <laughs> the one thing they gotta deal with these vultures though it would have been fun to have that uh light blue base there on their side of the map with mega turrets i think they would <laughs> the same thing but you're gonna have to have reavers now not Sorry. banshees no don't throw the game angel what, what? banshees here from the pavian position would be a throw a mega throw he's doing that so not good He's tier 3 at least, so maybe he can get Plasma Torpedo going. Uh, he has it three seconds out, but even still, there's you yeah. have no way to protect your Banshees from Vulture shots at all. One Vulture, a couple Vulture shots will just nuke a full army of Banshees. Gotta be a god that's splitting, and even then it hits a lot of them. But, I mean, it's just... Even if he splits perfectly, it's eight Banshees gone immediately. <laughs> and the uh, anti-air attacks are pretty powerful too. The thing is, if, if played it properly, it's almost impossible for the vultures to... Th so in this situation, it's really hard for vultures to do what they normally do. For one, you're going into two banished bases with shields and possibly cloak. So that's one thing. There's no UNSC bases. Two, uh, you're, you have two ways of completely nullifying vulture shots in... Either path stand for Pavium or stasis for Arbiter. So these vultures are nowhere near what they should be. Like would normally be doing, I should say. Let's see those reaver wiggles. Oh god, they're not there, they're not there, kaboom. They're gonna all yeah, die. 
that that was not that was that was not it. Nope. Obviously, good good reavers. Good to have reavers as an arbiter, but not like this. You kind of wanna no. shake them at the very least to dodge some of the shots, but ideally paired with an army, it would work much better. Now here's good. Oh my god, and close air. Yeah, and they can see tanks to the. Does he have stasis? Does he have else. stasis? He does. Oh, that was dicey. He's gonna need some help. Yeah, he's gonna need some help from his teammate. Wait, the stasis not hit the middle building somehow? It's taking that. What happened here? What just happened? Why isn't the middle building stasis? <laughs> this game is so good. <laughs> Jesus what? Christ. Was it because a locked base can't get stasis? I have not a clue. I've never seen that before. I oh, literally watched I the stasis drop before. on I've it. Never... Yeah, same. Hit the, <laughs> hit the full base. Guys in the chat, is there any wizard that knows how this works? And that that potentially just cost them the entire game because now Red's going to be able to go to the main. There's no more production for Reavers here. The Arbiter might come back up, but yeah. Um... That might be a complete game over. Yeah, and there's another nuke coming up. That's nine nukes going to the main. Uh, what can Psylag do? I mean, his body can counterattack and hope to win. Maybe his base can stay up, but not with the Archer Missile Edition. Oh, wait. This, this time, time it does stasis. Stasis the right now. It's not a locked base. That's uh, <laughs> very yeah, helpful. That's why. He has no way of building Reavers. He's only building a one as mini, as double mini. It's got to be a base trade, and this is always going to favor the Vulture player. BC every time. <laughs> oh, Psylac, man! If he didn't throw his Reavers, this would have been such a good game. Definitely. Um, he's trying to make a comeback happen. Trying to save the base as hard as he can. The counterattack is on. A reckless bunker is not necessarily safe at home. The Lich and the Banshees are striking hard. Can See, they knock they, him what out? They could, what they could do is give that base to... Uh... Yep, there it is. Silex going to take that base. If they kill this base for yellow, it'll be basically a complete trade. And it's going to be the Arbiter for Arbiter. So we'll see. Yeah, yellow lost everything. Just a base left. Yep. That's all it needs oh, to be. Like, again. He just needs to buy yep. time. Best of BC hasn't bought a unit in forever. He has all the money in the world to give him. It's coming it's in at least. Anchies, I don't get it. is gone. Might as well just kill the Apex at this point. Maybe the turret. But here comes the, uh... Psylocke like is trying to grab that base. Yeah, he's trying so hard to get vision on every single base there is. Uh, he's getting counted out at 60 seconds. Might be able to get the base. I actually, tell you what, these Banshees are gonna get the base skill. Kaboom. Uh, Rain of That's Fire you. wrecking the the, re uh, the Fortress. I think he might have killed just enough, but he's got to find a way to get his teammate in here. And there's a lot of Reavers here now. Even Dark Blue has enough Reavers. He does have the ability to drop in units with uh, Enforcers, so yeah. he'll stay in the game. Interesting. He's actually technically not on a timer. He was never put on a timer. So he was buying a base between. <laughs> so yellow's only got... Up. Awesome. Oh, the Reavers need to kill these Vultures immediately. They need to see the Vultures. Does he have it at back? Ah, yellow he's is buying way split, more split, bases. Split. Oof, that drop is gonna finish everything, probably. Well, there's not that many Vultures... ...left. Yeah, the problem is if there's a Cyclops. If he can proc conduit, he will probably just win this fight. 
other than the hero. Uh, but that's the last base. He has to buy that base. He can buy his old main. Which is also protected by the Banshees. The Banshees have got to come and help. Oh my god, he's got a five second differential between the base clock and his that his uh base warning clock. And that's the most protected base on the map right now. There's an honor or arbiter coming in. I, those banshees need to do something about that arbiter. Don't let that arbiter get there. Uh oh. He's gonna get vision on it. <laughs> Silac! Four! Three! Two. The base. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> oh my god, and the enforcers immediately die. Well, Freaking done, but there are blasts from the sky coming in. He risked it. He recycled oh, his base. Oh my god! But it's they a one v one. Be able to buy the other side. It's a one v one, I think. Buy... The yellow's still there. Oh yeah, forty seconds. Okay. Uh, so unless Dark there. Angel buys that base right now, Reckless Banka can't afford it. He does not have resources. But he bought the base. Oh man, he bought the base. The vultures are gonna meet the banshees at this rate. They have to beeline uh, to make this happen. And I think Best of BC has enough resources to give to his friend. Keep things going. The funny thing is, if he can somehow turn this into a 1v1, I actually <laughs> think that him could win this. I think it's possible. Very possible. Thirty. He's got to somehow. He's got to buy the bases. He's got them on vision. He just got to buy the other bases. Dark Angel, buy the bases. Get him. Stop him from getting the ability to do it. The only, actually, the only unit on the map is the Arbiter, minus a couple Banshees. He's killing them. <gasps> he doesn't have vision. Reckless Bankai can't see bases. He just got won by, uh... <laughs> okay, best of BC spotted oh for him. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know why he wasn't going around behind it. He had vision on almost all of them. <laughs> what now? Okay, 25 Banshees, Kaboom. This is actually spooky stuff even for that many vultures. The only way you, ha you have to try to take down that base, you can't let him get back into the game. Because the vultures, you know you just killed a lot of them, but... Mean. It's time to go. Yeah. The other option is to just go your get your banshees go all the way around to Red's main and try to take out his production or his eco. Oh, he just but used that. You gotta do now. Four banshees for free nukes. That's actually pretty good. Time to strike. Yeah. Why isn't he going to get her? Maybe he's waiting for another lich. That's not a terrible idea, actually. Yeah. And the spread is really good. Pavium is doing oh the thing. Oh my Rain of fire free. He doesn't have the ability to use the leader power to stop it. <laughs> okay, he's dead. Reckless Bankai is quite possibly knocked out of this. The Banshees are all alive. Dark Angel might have just That's carried That's the only base solo. available on the map. That's the only base available. There's oh, one unit. Guard. It's a banshee. There's one unit on the map. It's a banshee. He's trying to go take the base. <laughs> His old main, but it's already taken. And now he could just he could just corner this base, and he could take it. There's the lich to buy some time too. Wow, this is gonna hit super hard. This lich doesn't hard. even need to work. There's barely any vultures left. They're trying to nuke, and the banshees That's are getting hit hard. Banshees, but they're working. It's working. Oh my god. Oh my god. I hate the Banshee play, but it's actually working. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> they got Archer Missile so hard, Kaboom, but they're doing some work still. Maybe won't be able to clean up that base. He doesn't have enough money Angel. to rebuy the base. Yellow is out. He's out. He's got nothing left. It's a 1v1. In the 2v2 tournament grand finals, unfreaking believable. Dark Angel made it happen. It's an actual comeback. The thing is that he doesn't even have much uh, money left over here. Vultures obviously cost a shit ton of money. He's losing <laughs> pads left and right. 
killing a lot of banshees at the same time, but like, you're right, this base is getting wrecked, dude. More banshees getting pumped. Oh, wow. If it's gonna be just one base for best of BC, which it looks like is the oh, case, over, yeah. oh, wow. There's no way he can pump Ultras now. Yep, but you could just sit on this one expo and fight over it all day long. If you ever gain control of it, you just mega turret the main. You'll never lose. If Psylac is a happy chappy. <laughs> Thanks so for the raid, Ryuk. Harried. Harried. Appreciate the raid for sure. Hope you had a good stream. Wow, what a game we are witnessing. 2v2 turns into 1v1. There's only one base left for best of BC. He's trying his damnedest to make a comeback happen, but like against that many bases, uh, you could give this to Gold Leaguer probably. Yeah, at this point you really don't need Banshees anymore. He's probably just trying to kill some stuff with them. I mean, he could just be pumping them forever if he wanted to. Buying every base on the map. It just has, yep, he's just gonna keep on going banshees. <laughs> of course, best of BC is not gonna try to brute force the vultures. It doesn't work anymore. So time for marines. Makes sense. They're not particularly great at taking down buildings or anything like that, though. We're late enough into the game where I can see him finally having to the mega turret leader power. This is when it's just like disgusting. Oh my god. You can't do that. <laughs> That's the PC. Okay, now he's just memeing now. It's a complete utter meme. He sacked all his gens and only has supply pads, so this game's just a waste of time now at this point. <laughs> he's got 4k power. I think it's good macro. He's got two power nodes. Uh, yeah. You say so. <laughs> Not that I expect you gotta, him gotta to have win one this. because you want to be able to drop your your ultimate drop it at some point. You need power for it. Yeah, I mean for now he's got the two power true. nodes. It's not much. True, true. His power is going up. <laughs> Ever so slowly. Yeah. Yeah, you know when he goes lower, he'll have to uh, get back into it. But how do you hold against the Lich and Rain of Fire free? Aka, they're here. The Megaturts are here. Yes! Although it's on the wrong freaking side of the base, but whatever. Ah, I can turn around, it's cool. It's just not in range of the main. Oh, it's not? Okay. That side of the base is not. The other side would be maybe the back pad is. I just don't think that one pad is. It's also the safest pad for what it's worth. Oh my god, he had mega turrets on the, the upper. <laughs> 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 I didn't even touch that. I didn't love it. Oh, there's two now. What I love is he went limo leader point for one single limo. Never lost it. Had a hero in it the entire time. <laughs> It was just the most, it was, <laughs> protect the president, that's what that was, that's <laughs> all that was. <laughs> oh my god. Dark Angel is my MVP. Giga chat. This is already game free. Psylac and Dark Angel are Psy Angel and they're bringing you Johnny and Atriox. And over in the red side, we have Best of BC and Reckless Bankai, Serena and Trox. Trox Mirror, Serena and Johnson, the difference. Yeah, both pretty good at locking down the middle of the map. We'll have to see what's better bunkers or ice. For the traditional split of the map so far, except like the banished players are now picking the 
Vate camps in the middle. Wait, the blue one actually is just a harvester. Interesting. Might see a quick expo from the Trox players. Snipers coming out from the back. Double barracks in the end for best of BC. Just kind of hiding it. Um, and we'll have choppers and eventually a hero from the War Council for Reckless Bankai. We got Psylax taking the power notes. He's already gunning for number two. Who just connected to the bunker? It's a long stun. Just mined up. And in the end, this whole play with the ice just denies the power note for a long time. Here come the snipers now. They should be able to clean up the grunts absolutely no problem. Not much time left for the bunker either. It's uh, definitely gonna be in trouble. Look at that single suicide grunt being used just to trigger the stun. That is so good. And the other three crashing into the grunts. Yeah, make short work of them. Team Sainjo kind of struggling with this one. Johnny comes in though. And uh, he, he can obviously clean up the choppers. No problem. It's the four snipers that will be tough to play against. And now... Troopers. Choppers coming up, plasma bolt finishing up. And Dark Angel already coming up with the second gen. Snappers keep doing the pickoffs. Good off the chosen to get in a frontal garrison like that though. Funny that Johnny actually left. Yeah, he's picking off some sueys off of the other side, which is a nice little catch. Mm, for sure. Now, Team Red will have it chosen off their own. Soon upgrading. Looping around, putting down his beacon, but like four snipers, five snipers? You, you don't take that on. It's too difficult. Chopper actually lands. Oh, if only that was a suicide run in the other direction. Yeah, that was a nice ram. But the chosen should be able to clean him up, but so far they hasn't. One sniper does go down. Every kill here is super valuable. Oh no, he's running away. Red's gonna lose all his snipers if you're not careful. Stay alive, just barely. Oh, Johnny, you need to get in the bunker oh, you just dropped. Wow. Wow. How do you not? Oh, no. That's a big mistake. Why do you for drop sure. a. Yeah. You drop a bunker and you don't even put your guy in? What? Well, he's got sure uh, two snipers in it, and th those just took out every single infantry except that one sniper. So, yep. overall, mission complete. I would say. Yeah, and you can put the Chosen in that bunker still instead. Yeah, yeah. But just a big loss he could have avoided. Oh yeah, for sure. At least the Chosen got a star. So this is not a loss or anything like that. Reckless Bankai getting shrapnel mines. What? There's like no grunts out. That's a desperation play there. Oh. What was that? Little freeze. Anyway. What else is coming up? Yes, so BC reaches tier 2. No buildings yet. Also expanding at the same time. Not like Johnny could 
have a drop. <laughs> that would be illegal. They'll run by attempts, but doubt that they can do too much. Psylax's base is like not quite upgraded yet. Or finished building. Um, slowed down a lot there. Actually, that freezes super quick. <laughs> Look how much damage it takes, too. But yeah, choppers take care of that easily enough. More bunkers. And now, blue team owns the middle. Uh, Psy Angel playing so well in this entire series. Like, you can definitely see all the practice they have put in uh, throughout. They've been trying hard this whole league, and this might be their moment to culminate all that. Then again, best of seven, need two more wins for them. And best of Bankai, I don't think they'll be sitting around waiting for that to happen. Definitely expect them to at least win one game. Some might say they are the favorite. Talks greater than choppers, but then the hunter shows up, so <laughs> peace out. Wow, face denied by the Johnny. Might as well pick it up if you're Dark Angel. Might also be an overcommit, don't know. Maybe he's just opting for the tier 3 hero upgrade and uh, Mantis laser pointers. <clears throat> Blue team definitely on the driver's seat so far. Getting the total map control in the middle. <laughs> Eventually we'll get there. Oh god, they just die. Chosen's too hard, man. Why would you Red Hogs is the play out of red at the moment. I don't need them. That's true. Definitely don't need them. Psylac can make some better units. Vorto counterattack though. Uh, Psylax's base is looking not ready. He's making a turret right this second. So I'm not even sure if he can heal this. Uh, suppose there's Banshees to come back and help. Ah, there's the help. EMP. That's a lot of investment to save against four Warthogs though. Yeah. Yeah. At least they'll all go down and the base stays up. They're ahead by enough, I think, that it's okay. Wouldn't have been my first choice. They might end up losing that uh, Johnny hero if they're not careful. Mm -hmm. He's moving. Yep. Covered by several snipers, though, it's not easy to get across this little uh, ridge. Getting a shroud, I think, is smart. And Dark Angel does reach tier 3. Triple pumping Mantis now. Do we have the Johnny upgrade? Uh, it doesn't look like it. In fact, there's no armory. This is a 7 pad base now. Mm. Gonna have quad turrets as well. It's gonna be hard to push into this. Agreed for sure. Even with the Mantis, they just 
Can't really do that. Of course, the play would be for Psylac to drop an eradication on it. Ah, uh, but then there will be an Atriox buddy. More than happy to help out with the Bulwark. I'm gonna force the use of that first, and then think about it. It is a it. Tech 3 Chosen from Blue. So it is. Oh, that range, though. It looks like the snipers are overwhelming the shrouds for the moment. Makes the chosen functional. And this. As I said earlier, vultures. Again. <laughs> oh. From Best of BC. Right there. He, the man does like his vultures. And this is something you have to spot, um, or else. It's spotted, it's spotted, the Banshee sees it. Okay, now they can prepare. It's still only like four or five, so this is a manageable number. Striking now with all those Banshees is actually a good play. Should have finished that one off. Oh, it's done. Vessel BC, Ouch. is there gonna be a bulwark? No. The entire base is essentially melted. One click on each building and they disappear. Oh my god, every pad's gone. So are the Banshees. That's a really nice beam, but I think the mechs might be invulnerable. No, no, they're just healing. They had double heal right there, that's why. The mech blast is actually... Oh my god, they don't have detect. They don't have detect. That's they probably base, will though. kill the base anyways, but still. Yeah, that was visible. That's a lot of kills. Chance for the vultures to do something, I guess. Because they didn't they get should be that. fighting. Yellow and red should be should have been fighting underneath that shroud because they had no detect, but they just yeah gave up. Yeah, I feel like they could have gotten some extra kills at, in the end here. Yeah, absolutely. Now Johnny's tier three. The Mantis just denied the base. Team Psy Angel doing so well in this game again, and you can't pump vultures on one base. Like you, you'll be able to max out once. Then never again. <laughs> I like the Banshee Chase, definitely. It's it's economically worth it at this point to trade away. Uh, the splits are fantastic, by the way. Means they can keep going. Uh, where are we going? <laughs> Come on, they're off cooldown. Now's the time. I guess they're very separate, these two players right now. Archangel only on 47 pop? What? Is he trying to get a... No Condor. Just not making stuff. Do we really need four gens? <laughs> uh, I guess base upgrades are in order when you see vultures. Once again, the Vultures take down the Banshees. No direct fighting. Maybe six Vultures momentarily. Got two stars. That's enough stuff there with the shrouds to absolutely wreck him. Need to teleport out of there. Please teleport. Oh my god, the snow is so much. Please don't lose him. Oh man. Two stars. That's a rough one. That's rough. 80 pop for best of BC, he's got the max watchers. There's a UNSC base to hit, but it's Johnny, so... At least you got... Free pads? Hmm? I said, so he's got free pads. So he's got free pads, yep. Which isn't gonna save your bases, but it saves your economy. The 
Yeah, so BC might be able to get a base back at this rate. What is Team Blue doing? Uh, no population upgrades yet for Psylac. He's just now getting the air upgrade one. He's definitely very, very slow on that. Not to mention the pop upgrade being so critical. Okay. Maxing out on Banshees. Together they should be able to strike pretty hard. Uh, especially given how the Mantis will weaken those Vultures against the Banshees. So BC working on that pop upgrade though, and air level 2 is about to be done for him. It just did get done. Yep. <clears throat> Gotta be careful going against a army of full pop vultures. You're not guaranteed to win even with a base advantage. One loss of engage, and you just get wiped your bases. It's a good thing that both these leaders can have a fully invulnerable army now. So during that, I think it's possible to take them down. Especially with a good EMP mech blast. Yep. It's true, but you also could freeze the invulnerable, so you just could make them waste the, that leader power. Very true. Very true. Gotta get a There's good counterplay spread. here. Here comes the base. I, st I hate the, the dark blue Banshees once again. I don't know why the affinity for Banshees for these players. You guess put though against those Reavers. Or, mm -hmm. I mean, on the Reavers. And beam on the army, but... Yeah, the max don't nothing care. Dies yet. Base, base will die. Done. A lot of freaking vultures, man. Oh! The thing is, you just gotta engage. You're gonna, you're basically gonna die. You just gotta kill the army. You can't just protect your army. You will eventually just straight up lose. Yep, this main base is starting to be on the struggle bus. Another eradication comes in. The healing alone is not enough. Where is the bulwark? There it is. But still, it's I mean, not it's gonna time, be enough. I, All these mechs. Enough. They're all invulnerable! There's everything unvulnerable now. This is how it's done. Oh. It's red, everything is what we talked about a minute ago. Even with the Serena drop, this is not gonna be enough. And uh, Best of Bankai is once again defeated. Only one game remains. Uh, well, not necessarily, but they can only lose one more time. Team Psy Angel might be on the cusp of victory. We are in what could be the very last game if Team Psy Angel wins again. Here they are in the dark blue Psylac and in the light blue Dark Angel together. They're Dark Angel and they're playing Colony and Forge. And over in the red side we have Best of BC going Isabel. Reckless Bankai going Shipmaster. On the red side, best of Bankai team name. Isabel is an interesting choice. Hmm, we got a Jackrabbit War in the middle for the power. Not gonna work out for the Blue Rabbit. Uh, gets actually rammed by the Ghost to finish it off. Already out microed in the beginning by best of BC. The Jackrabbit engagements are interesting. Uh, they can both dodge each other's shots super well. And the Marines getting the garrison, but they're pretty weak, so you can just leave them alone. You've already wasted their time. Just pick up the important resources. Um, looks like it's a pretty mixed result, but Team Blue is getting a lot of the power. Jackrabbit reset micro to beat the grunts. Oh, beautiful. Well done, best of BC. Just finished an armory. And his buddy Reckless Bankai. Um, actually not doing anything yet. He's just making scouts. So I assume it's gonna be upgraded uh, ghosts. And for Psylac it's shoppers with skits. 
<laughs> Love the Viggle on the skit. It's gonna beat the ghost at this rate. Gonna keep Viggling. Shake it, boy. <laughs> it will and it targets the base over and over again. That too. Oh my god, it's so good! <laughs> w. That's what this is. Fortress Warthog on the way. Right, Alice is out, it looks like. But you know what Isabella's good at? Uh, that Best of BC likes? Vultures. Vultures. <laughs> What I would want to see him do here in the early game is just because you, uh, there's going to be guaranteed for Chog, probably into Hogs later. Mm. Uh, usually Isabella loses that and that's straight up head to head because of the Forge Hog getting the buff to the Ford Hogs. Oh, yeah. But something that Isabel has that most other leaders don't have the ability to do is go mine level two, which I'm sure there's a couple of people who have seen this happen before. Spartan Slam Mind Level 2 combo will nuke a Vorchog from zero health. Or from full health, I should say, to zero. That's bonkers. Also, on this map specifically, it's very well, uh, like, it's a good idea just to throw level 2 mines around everywhere because there are so many inclines moving into it where you don't have vision. Even if you have to see, don't have, or you have detect, you gotta see the unit, the uh, mines. By the time you do, you've already like, blown up in your face. So you can just throw mines on every incline leading up to mat or uh, bases, and you will win that. There's mines, but a little late. There's nothing blue under them. Wait a or second, not. something just happened. <laughs> they did arm. <laughs> they did. Those were the mines I was talking about. The mines did arm. Wow. Underneath that. I'm pretty sure that's just level one as well. Like this can be upgraded further, but Psy Angel with so many units remaining. Uh, are easily able to push away pretty much everything. They just got ahead into the base now and put on the pressure. There's no turrets anywhere. Um, so I guess Reckless Bunker is even more vulnerable at this second as the ghosts come out one by one and take a long time to do it. Guys, you can go around that wall. You don't have to kill the wall. You can go around. Red. Alice. Back. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that took way too long. Are they healing his base? No, it's a, it's their own heal. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Not a heal. <laughs> <laughs> In the amateur league, I'd be surprised. These guys are too nice. <laughs> yep. Because there's Marine Grenade here. There's a turret. It's not, and the Alice is here. Oh, Definitely. the jump missed. Did Kaboom. nothing get. Did nothing get. No, no, it weird. was just out of the range. But Very there's enough ghosts here plus the turret and the Alice. They'll, this will get cleaned up. Red will, red and yellow will push this off. I'm not so certain. It seems like they can keep going a little bit more. The four truck is at full health. Uh, so I maybe think you got to be careful around. not to get just rammed down by the ghost. True. But if you're this four truck, got to get away. Well, this is the safer play. I guess you're right. Taking a lot of losses on the way out though. Anyway, Psylac does have an expo up. That's the BC starting one, which means that Reckless Bankai, uh, sorry, uh, Dark Angel should be able to start one too. Mm -hmm. uh, he's upgrading defensive aura, he's getting Vortog soon. He's got so many resources, man. If he just had another watchtower, he could see down there. Actually, not. Uh, yeah. You actually need vision. Boundary and Apex for Reckless Bankai. And just Hogs for Best of PC. Archangel now has a base on the way. Not that far behind. Hunter Captain for Psylac coming out. Yeah, that's gonna be a pretty big play. 
especially if backed with double skid and NGs. And she's again? Why? I... It's weird, it's like it's the kryptonite of red teams. And she's... It actually it's worked so thing. far, so I have to agree. Reckless Banka, in fact, going tier 3 already. Um, and making banshees. That's how you know this is a uh, amateur league. Uh, Air OP? <laughs> ah, I'm just beeping. I don't really think that. Amateur part I was referring to. But yeah, fighting into a base with a hunter captain and forge hog and some warthogs is not the right idea. So you might want to back up if you're yellow and red. Yeah, best keep those goals for the next fight. They did a great job though, um, getting no control. All five in the reds. Oh, well hands. done. Yeah, good point. When will blue team notice this? It's the longer this goes, the worse it is for them. So they built a nice little lead at the beginning, but it's gonna run away quickly uh, <laughs> if they don't do something about this. There's some Warthogs going around to Light Blue's only expo. Should I say only expo that's finished? Oh, never mind, he has one on the other side. Huh, stand corrected. So wait. But like I said earlier, I would love to see these, these mines just be thrown everywhere. There's no detect. Just. <laughs> Put mines across the map and just make them continuously walk into them. Oh man. Oh man, Ouch. that partner's in trouble, but buddy. Oh oh. Yeah, he gets the stun off, but that's about it. Because Bankai's base is next. Why would you jump the Reaver into the army? Jump it out and lose its range. Well, nothing to shoot at, I guess, right now. Oh, there's Vengeance, I guess, yeah. Also, why would you put the spirit support in the front when you could just save those engineers? I guess that's fine, because you can move the engineers to the back. Yeah. Also, spammed that. wide. Or infantry. Hunter Captain just shooting the base directly. That probably does need to clear out the NGs. The Warthog's got the infantry just fine. And from here, Reckless Bankai probably can't save the base anymore. Man, those leader power combos sure hit hard. Reckless Bankai has no units left at all. Vessel BC on 40 pop. Bunch of hogs here. Got a beam and a dream. Sadly, it's gonna stay a meme. As this base falls too. Combined might of Team Blue might just go into Team Red. Is this it? Is there a way to come back? It looks like the power nodes are now gonna be decaptured. Bunch of grunts were made for just that. And Psylax still has his Banshee count. He's building more. 67 pop at the moment. Going to your free. Dark Angel's base got wrecked somehow. Uh, must have been those hogs. Don't know if you... I missed it. Or just... You didn't say either. Oh, uh, the, the expo? Yeah. yeah, the expo was just good by hogs. Yeah. But there are, uh, there are tanks here, and they oh. have the Y ability. This game is not quite over with yet, because as we know, those tanks could be insane. Tanks beat everything. It's in the lore. There's a couple Reavers in here taking down the Banshees, and some of these tanks will go down, but... Oh, uh, you only need a few to stay alive. There are double turrets here as well. Great pickups as long as on you the save this stuff. expo. You're in this game. I get some nightingales in here though. Oh, there's engineers, but yeah, the anti turrets are upgrading, so that is really uh, where this can shine. Psylac so like not having a lot of units, but is I think saving up for that uh, big. Drop. Yeah, you gotta not let these eggs get picked. Get your numbers up. Fight from range. You have turret advantage. Yeah, the anti vehicle should keep all this at bay, but we're gonna oh! have a scatter bomb on it. Oh, Maybe it's not just no, that. Nothing. They're gone, Kaboom. Spirit yeah, spirit support is back, but I mean, what are you gonna do? 
I think Psylax gonna just drop in his devastating host. This place. This place. Okay. I heard more tanks coming in. He's pumping them like a madman, so. Uh, and nice these are. Time. Gotta find a way to get to those Kodiaks, though. There is a Banshee on them, but that won't kill them fast enough. Oh, another anti vehicle turret goes down to the Kodiak. That's tough. And we've got tier 3 on the Forge Hog. Spirit support here to take down the Kodiak. They are desperate, man. Reckless Bankai. Yeah, that was definitely not it. Making reckless moves. You want those you want those engineers over top of the uh the tanks. Agreed. You just kill the Kodiak, but at the cost of your two-star hunter, which is obviously very good. Is there some mines? Yeah, I think you're happy to trade your Kodiaks, which also come back off cooldown very quickly. So there will be mm -hmm. more of those. Yeah, if you keep the two the vet one engineers though over the tanks, that is really strong. Hmm. You just gotta get the numbers, so you just gotta push forward. Alice is on her way back down, but well, she does not have chain gun yet. There's the This could be hijacked, by the way. It's good. I don't know if he has the leader point though. Where is Alice? Oh no. No, not hijacked, I mean ghost of the machine. This should this is what right. I meant. But if you can ghost the machine this, you can probably live. Well, is it gonna happen? Best of BC's base is extra gotta low. You gotta heal the base, man. Oh, you have vet two engineer or two vet engineers. You gotta s use them to heal the base. Even it's almost the like they've captain, given up. Man, it stayed alive so long. Now we do have chain gun for Alice, but it looks like she's gonna be going down in the end as she just used her jump. The beam will help clean it's up. But not a lot of dies. stuff is about to fall from this. And there's the vultures. <laughs> Still gets a tag kill. Both tag kills. Oh my god. Banshee's the next. Oh, wait. Shot a dead Banshee. Just don't understand the Banshee plays. We'll end up killing the two vultures, though, and probably the Kodiak. Oh, move forward. What are you doing? You said. <laughs> Kill the head vulture in the Kodiak! Oof. Uh, it's like yellow and red had just stopped microwing entirely. I don't I, I don't understand. I mean it wants to save his expo, I get it, but you're not. Not against that forge hog, it'll kill it. Yeah, it'll take all the banshees too. That's a problem. Shoots faster every time it kills something. It's dead as well. More banshees being made, it doesn't seem to be the answer at all. There's now four vultures from Dark Angel. They've had enough of the vulture game, now they're giving these guys a taste of their own medicine. It's very beatable though, as you guys can see. Just not when you're that far behind. Uh, it does need an even game. It's a game-ending unit. Tanks are really trying to make something happen with the liabilities, but Hochog doesn't care. Once again, stuff is gonna get nuked. Oh my god, the Forge Hog lived. Oh. That's bonkers. Okay, guess that. Red the... needs to push up and kill this now. Wolverines are pretty good. They gave up. They don't they have up. enough economy to keep fighting. And then we have our 2v2 amateur league champions. It's Psylac and Dark Angel together. They are Dark Angel again. And they have won this. 4-0. Best of Bankai. Still did a very good job though. Advancing throughout this tournament. All the way to the end. Beautiful games. Thanks everyone for playing. And thanks Kaboom for casting. Hell yeah. We want to thank our MetaPlace website subscribers. Your contribution helps us keep the project sustainable. As we reach higher subscription goals, you are helping us cover more and more behind the scenes costs, such as video editing. Check out our subscription page using the link in the description and remember to collect your perks. We will see you the next time.